You want to know where you should launch your community. Should you choose Go High Level Communities or School? Well, just last week at the Level Up Summit in Dallas, High Level made some huge announcements around their brand new community features. But was it enough to unseat the king of community, School? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down all of Go High Level's new community features, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion of which of these platforms that you should use to launch your community. What's up, y'all? My name is Ron Medlin, and I help online experts build six-figure lifestyle businesses using School and Go High Level Communities. So if you're looking to launch a brand new high level or school community I've got a great resource for you it's our community launch secrets course that's literally going to take you step by step through how to launch a brand new community and get your first 100 members in just 10 days so I'm going to drop a link in the description so you can join our free community and get instant access to that resource now let's dive in and let's decide which is the better community platform go high level communities or school all right so first I want to go over the new updates that high level just released this past week at the level up summit so these first few features that I'm going to talk about are features that school has already had up for a while. So these are just places where GHL is actually filling some major gaps in their communities, and they're finally making themselves a viable option for launching your community. So the first feature I want to talk about is the Colab Marketplace. So this is basically GHL's answer to the school discovery feature. So if you want to check it out, you can go to gocolab.com forward slash discovery where you can actually just come in here and you can search for different communities. And you can see when people are asking me if this if communities off of Facebook are going to work for their niche, check this out. This is tattooing, 105,000 members. Here is champagne, people that are interested in champagne, 17,000 people. Dinner table family, raising kids and creating value in the world, 15,000 people. So no matter what niche you're in, there is a possibility for you to grow a very strong community off of Facebook. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Now, this discovery feature also has SEO benefits. So if I type in it's like fitness, for instance, it's going to show me all of the communities that are related to fitness. So that's something you want to think about when you're creating the names of your communities and writing your descriptions. So right now, outside of that keyword search, they are just ranking these different communities based off the number of members in the community itself. So I can see as the algorithm evolves that they are going to start to use some different elements a lot like schools, so engagement rate, growth rate, those kind of things. So if you want to actually make your community discovery discoverable in collab.com, you're going to go to your community, you're going to go to settings on the right hand side here, you're going to click on discovery, and then you can toggle this on and right when you toggle it on you're going to get your link your go collab link to your community and it will be now discoverable inside of gocolab.com. The next feature is the events calendar. So if I click on events at the top here, this is going to take us to a calendar view where I actually can come in here and I can create an event, give it a title, time, I can choose the time zone, will this be recurring? We can set the location to Zoom or Google Meet and add the link there. Give it a description. We can hide it from all non-attendees. And then much like school, we can choose who has access to these events. So do we want all members to have access? Do we want to unlock this event at a certain level once people start engaging in the community? Do we want this event to be only be people that are part of a course or a private channel? So you can select that. Once you've got your event set up, click Next. And now you have events set up inside of your GHL communities. Also, you can see that there's a payment details tab here. It's not clickable yet. So they will be coming out with paid events, which is something that school doesn't currently have. So this is a advantage that High Level has over school currently. All right, so the next feature is the About Us page. So High Level communities now have About Us pages just like school does which essentially becomes the landing page for your community. And these pages actually convert very, very well. I have the data to prove it. We actually just started running ads and we're getting anywhere from three to $5 group joins, which is great on these pages. So they work very, very, very well and now high level has them. So you can come in here, you can add your VSL, video sales letter. You can add a walkthrough of your community, testimonial videos and images and you can put as many as you want up here I think there might be a limit but um, you'll put your videos up there and then you've got your copy at the bottom here and again these actual pages convert very very well so this is a huge new feature that high level has recently released alright so let's move on to the next feature and this is probably the biggest one for me and really the key feature that I believe now makes high level a viable option for building your community and that is direct messaging 
Now you have the ability to come in here, click on the chat button here, and you can direct message your members right with inside the community itself. So this is huge, y'all. So I'm just gonna do this is a test. And once you send them a message, they will get a notification in their notification bar here that you have sent them a message. And this is huge. And I'm not just guessing at this. We actually have data to back up the fact that DM is very important inside your community. So we recently started tracking where our booked calls are coming from in October. And our direct messaging, you can see here, the DM is our number one source for booking calls once somebody joins our community. Now, one feature that uh, school has that GHL still doesn't have is the ability to send an automated DM that you can send to your members right when they join your community. But with GHL's superior automations, it should not be too long until you can probably create an entire automated DM sequence and I even see the ability of integrating AI to take over those conversations in the DMs once somebody responds, which is gonna be super cool. So this is a big one, and this really makes High Level a viable option for your communities. All right, so those are all features where High Level is playing a little bit of a catch-up game with school that school already had, and now High Level is kind of catching up with those different features. Now let's talk about some features that High Level has that school does not have where High Level has a little bit of an advantage, okay? So the first First one is a private channel. So you can think of a private channel as a category where people, your members can post and read other people's posts, but only certain members have access to that that category of that channel. So this could be like if you wanted wanted to add a extra layer of support for say your high ticket clients or people that purchased a course, you could use a private channel to um, support that. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on add a channel. And then we'll just call this private channel and then we'll toggle it to make it private and then we'll create the channel. Once you've created the channel, you will hover it over it and then click the little gear and then you can go to members and you can start adding all the people that you want to have access to this private channel. So that is one feature that school does not currently have where High Level has a slight advantage. All right, let's move on to the next feature that High Level has that school does not have and this one is awesome. So let's go over to my High Level account this is my high level account. If we go to marketing and then we go to social planner, we now have the ability to schedule posts inside of communities. So to do that, first you wanna connect your community. So you're gonna to go to the social planner, you're gonna go and click on the gear. And then once you've clicked on the gear, you're gonna click on uh, connect social, and then you can connect a community. And then you'll select the community that you want to add. So that is my community. And now I've added my community. Now I have the ability to schedule posts inside of that community. So I'm going to go back and then I'm going to click on new post and then create new post. And then we can select where we want to post to. So this is going to be our community. And inside the community, we can also select which of the different channels we want to post to. So let's say this is going to be an announcement. I can come in here, I can write my post, I can even use AI to create the post, help me create the post, which is pretty awesome. Give it a title so I know which of the um, posts that we're creating, so I can identify that. And then you can notify all group members when you actually make a post, so that's going to help you with your reach, which is pretty damn cool. And then we can select the user. So I'm not sure why this is not available um, yet, so I'm not sure about that. But when you've gotten your post ready, you're ready to actually send it and schedule it, you can come and you can click this button. You can either save it for later so you have it, and you could basically bulk create all of your community uh, posts for the next month, next quarter, whatever you wanna do, which is pretty damn awesome because you can't do that in school. And so you can either post now, so that'll go out right now. You can schedule it for later. You can send posts for approvals if you're working with somebody or maybe your VA is managing this. And then you can also schedule recurring posts. So this could be super helpful if you're doing like weekly, weekly Q&A calls or coaching calls or whatever the case may be. And you just want to create a post that's going to go out at the same time every single week to remind your members that you are about to go live. So that is pretty damn sweet. All right, next feature is the branded mobile app. So if I go down to memberships and I go and I click the drop down underneath communities, you can click on branded mobile app. So now, as an agency owner, if you have people underneath you that are building communities, you have the ability to resell these branded mobile apps. So the base price, I believe, is $49 per month. So you can upsell that at $69 a month, $97, whatever you want it to be. 
And now your sub accounts can create branded mobile apps for their courses, for their communities, and for their client portal. So these apps will actually be available inside of the iOS or Android marketplace. And so this is definitely a feature that school does not have. So this gives you the option to, if you wanted to not use the Colab mobile app as a way to, for people to access your communities, you can now create your own branded mobile app so that your community members have your branded app on their phones, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's talk about pricing because this is a big one that comes up a lot when people are trying to choose between school and go high level so with school the model that we run we run a free to pay community model so that means that we have two different communities one is our free community which becomes our funnel we get people in we generate the lead we nurture that lead inside the community and then get them on a phone call to either sell them into our high ticket offers or downsell them into our paid community our paid community now becomes our MRR machine where we are charging a monthly subscription for people to have access to the, the value of that community now Obviously, we need two different communities, and with school, you are going to have to pay $99 per month per community. So that's basically $200, and you don't get the CRM, you don't get the marketing automation that you get with High Level, you don't get the calendars, you don't get any of the stuff that you need to kind of run your business. Now, with High Level, you are going to pay one flat fee, and you're going to be able to get both communities plus your marketing automation, plus your CRM, plus everything you need to kind of run your business. So at first glance, high level does look like the better deal, but there is something hidden that nobody is talking about. Now with high level, you are probably going to be using Stripe as your payment processor. Now you have the ability to use other payment processors and I highly suggest looking into that. But if you are using Stripe, you're going to be paying 4.9% on every single transaction. So that means as you build up a bigger and larger community, you're going to be paying 4.9% on all of those transactions. With school, you are paying basically almost half that. So you're only paying 2.9% on all of your transactions through school. So that means that you're gonna be saving 2% on every single transaction. So I did some math, and once you reach 10,000 MRR on both platforms, you are gonna start saving a lot more money with school than you are with high level. If you are looking to grow a big community, that is definitely something to think about. So I found a little bonus feature that GHL kind of snuck in there without saying much about, and it's pretty cool, so I wanted to show it to you. I am in the workflow builder if I click on the plus here to add an action and then I search for group you can see we have this action here that says grant community group leaderboard points so if I click on that and I select my group and then I give a certain amount of points and you would have to kind of play with the point system here but I save it basically what school has as far as leaderboard their leaderboard is tied to engagement so this is definitely not ideal because what a lot of communities are finding when they start running contests to get people to engage is that it's all centered around engagement and you start to get a lot of people gaming the system and posting a bunch of low value posts. So it starts to look a little spammy inside the community. Well, with this action that GHL is giving you, you can now tie your leaderboard to behaviors that will actually help you move towards your business goals. So you can do things like completing a course that your leads actually consume your content. You can do it around booking a call. You can do it around attending a workshop or a challenge where you can actually upsell them into the next thing. So this opens up a whole lot of possibilities and it's a pretty cool feature that definitely gives high level a little bit of an advantage here. So let me show you how this would work. Basically, to give people points, you would just create a trigger. So that could be, you know, appointment status is confirmed. You could do product completed, which is a course. So you can see you just basically give it the trigger and then you give points for that trigger happening. So this is a pretty cool feature that I definitely like that GHL has added to their communities. All right, so those are all the features that we currently have available in high level. Let's actually look at what's on the roadmap so we can see what's coming in the future. So to do that, we can just search in Google for go high level roadmap. It's this first link here that says high level feedback. I'm gonna click into that. And then I'm gonna click into communities. And then you would use this little filter to kind of go through what's upcoming, planned, in progress, and complete. So we're going to focus on upcoming, planned, and in progress. And so we'll start with in progress because this is the closest to being released. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see the ones that are kind of coming up that are not active. Some of these are actually 
already done. So this one here, unlock course, courses with levels. So that's going to unlock the actual gamification. So currently that is not working, but that is actually in progress. So I'm assuming that's going to be released any moment. Okay. Now let's actually click on planned. So this is planned, but not released. So you can see though, some of these are already released. So this is the community landing page, which is the about us page. And then this is kind of the same thing as tie reward to community leaderboard. So they're, they're actually fixing their gamification is what this is telling me. And then let's look at the upcoming to see if there's any cool things coming out here. Um, live room. So that is definitely a cool one um, where you can actually go live inside of your community, which, high, which school does not currently have. So you can see high level is really coming on strong with these features and they're moving really fast. All right, so now let's talk about some of the features that school currently has that high level does not have and where school has some advantages. So the first one is gamification. So currently high levels gamification doesn't work. I'll show you that in just a second, but schools gamification works really well, but it is tied solely to engagement. So to set up gamification in school, you would come into the leaderboards, click on the little gear here and you'd be in gamification and you can come in here and you can name all of your different levels so that when they unlock a level, they're kind of moving up in their status okay and so you can name those appropriately with whatever to align with whatever your group name is and then once you have your level set you can actually set the rewards that you want people to unlock at those different levels so to do that I'm gonna go to the classroom here and I would scroll all the way down I've got a bunch of courses in here but essentially what you do is you create a new course name the course name the description and a course could be you know unlocking live calls it could be an actual course it could be a uh, mastermind that they unlock or they win vip tickets or merchandise whatever you want that reward to be that would be what the course is and then you would click this level unlock to attach it or assign it to a level and then you would create it, add your little cover image, create it, and then that is how you would create the rewards that unlock at the different levels. Now to see the different levels and how many points your members need to unlock those different levels, you can just click this little, go to the leaderboards tab and then click on the little question mark and you can see all the levels. You can see all the points that your members need to unlock those different levels. Now if I go back over to high level communities and I click on settings, and I click on gamification and rewards, you can see that we can create rewards, but we can't really tie it to anything. So there's no, there's no system here to tie it to a level. And so right now gamification does not work in high level, so advantage school on gamification. All right, so let's talk about a couple of more features that are available in school that aren't currently available in high level communities. So to talk about these, I'm gonna log into my community here and I'm gonna go to settings. And I'm gonna go down to plugins. And the first one I'm going to talk about is automated DM to members. Okay, so I'm going to click on edit here. So you can set this up. I actually, my partner has this set up. And what we do is we send out an automated DM to everybody that joins our community. And we're basically positioning a very strong discovery call and sending them the link to that call. Now I know this is an effect is an effective strategy because we are actually have a tracking link so that we know exactly who is booking calls from that automated DM. And then we have a different tracking link for the follow-up DMs that we send. So we know this is an effective strategy because we're booking calls from it and we're tracking those calls. But currently, High Level does not have this capability. Now, I definitely foresee this being an advantage for High Level in the future because High Level is way more advanced on the automation side than school is. So not only will you probably be able to send an initial DM, automated DM, but you'll probably be able to build out entire automated DM workflows that will send out multiple messages to your members. So I see that being an advantage for high level uh, eventually, but currently that is not available in high level communities. Now let me click the back button here. The next feature that I wanted to talk about is the metal pixel tracking. So if you want to drive traffic via ads to your communities. Currently, it's very unclear how you set up the Metapixel to track conversions and things like that with high-level communities, okay? So I'm sure that'll come out very soon, but currently, there it's, it's very unclear how that is done. With school, it's extremely easy to set up. It's like a two-minute setup, and then you will actually be able to track these different events um, from your school community. So page view, so you can actually build retargeting audiences. Complete registration, which is basically people that are um, joining your free community so you can track uh, free community joins. 
Also purchase, so this is when somebody pays for your paid community or, or starts their subscription on your paid community. So you're able, able to track all of these events so that you can have and understand what's going on with your ads. So that's a big one if you wanna run ads to your communities. All right, so that brings me to the last point that I wanna make about school versus go high level communities. And that is around popularity and culture. So I think that school has a huge advantage here and I don't know if that'll ever change. So with the names behind school, which are Sam Ovens and Alex Hermosi, you have two of the biggest names in digital marketing driving this thing. And they have been spending a ton of advertising dollars promoting just their community platform. So with High Level, they've got a lot of other feature sets that they're trying to promote and I don't see them focusing on just the community aspect of it. So that's one thing. The other thing is I believe that, high, that school is the very best at what they do. They eat their own dog food, they know how to grow communities, and they know how to make it fun doing it. So when you actually join and you become a school community owner, you instantly get access to the community called the School Games. So first of all, one thing that's cool about the School Games is the community itself. So in here, people are sharing their strategies, their tactics that they're using to actually currently grow their communities and monetize their communities. So you're getting a you know tons of different SOPs and strategies every single week on how you can grow your own community. The other thing about this community is the actual School Games themselves. So every single month, they have a contest to see who can generate the most monthly recurring revenue. The top 10 people are then flown out to Vegas to meet with both Sam Ovens and Alex Ramosi to do a uh, weekend mastermind. They get to stay out at a mansion and literally they're sharing all the tactics, everything that all of these different community owners are using to crush it and grow their communities and get and make a lot of money doing it. And then once that is done, once that school games ends, they make they take all the recordings, they put them up into the school community and you're literally getting a new course, a new masterclass every single month that's gonna help you to grow and monetize your communities. So I don't foresee high level ever competing on this level because communities is just a one of many features in their total feature set. So I don't see them spending the resources and spending the money just focusing on growing that piece of the um, software, but I might be wrong. Now you know all the advantages and disadvantages of each platform, so what is the answer? Which is the better platform to launch your community? Is it school or is it go high level? And my answer is, I honestly don't think that you can go wrong with either one of these platforms, whether you wanna choose go high level communities or school communities. I believe that you can build a thriving community now with both of these having very similar features. And so I support your decision either way. I think the biggest thing that is most important is that you just get started, you take action and you launch your community. And to help you with that, we actually have a free course that we offer inside of our community that's gonna help you launch your community, get your first 100 members in the next 10 days. So if you want that, I'm gonna drop a link in the description and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.